Welcome back to How Farms Work, everyone. Just a couple quick notes before we kick this video off. I just wanted to say that Fastline has just launched their new website. So we are selling the Rhino Ag equipment on their website. We have our very own personalized landing page with all of the equipment that we are selling on it. Uh, go down into the description and check it out if you guys are interested in any of the Rhino Ag equipment, including the rake in this video. So I checked out the prices that the stuff is going to be selling for and basically you guys are going to be able to purchase the equipment for what I would have been able to and um, it's I think it's going to be going for a pretty good deal and to my knowledge it should be first come first serve. So the second quick note that I want to make is that today is the last day to order a How Farms Work sweatshirt. So if you guys are interested in a How Farms Work sweatshirt, be sure to go down into the description. There's a link down there for them as well. Uh, today's the last day. The difference between this, this sweatshirt and the ones that I'm ordering is that the new sweatshirts are going to be kind of dark like my, like my shirts are. But uh, these sweatshirts are going to have How Farms Work down the sleeve and they're going to be like a vibrant orange. So I think they're going to look pretty slick. Uh, basically, my sweatshirts are so expensive uh, to me when I order them individually that I can't maintain an inventory. But when I do a bulk order, uh, the price can be lowered enough to where you guys are willing to buy them and to where I'm willing to order them. Um, so that's why I don't maintain an inventory. So this is your final chance to order a How Farms Work sweatshirt probably for next year at least. Uh, the last time I did one of these sweatshirt sales was in 2015. So um, with that, let's kick this video off. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we're going to go ahead and rake the hay out of my place and over at the main farm. Uh, we're going to take the 4640 out in the Rhino RDF 14 wheel rake. Uh, we're going to head out and rake up the hay so that it can start drying. But first we got to head out to the field and check the hay to make sure that uh, everything's dry out there. We don't want to rake it up if there's still dew on the hay. But the sun's starting to get up there. Um, it should be fairly dry. Um, I'm guessing that by the time I get over to the farm, get the 46 going and uh, everything, it should be pretty well ready to go. So let's take the four-wheeler out and let's go check the hay. is facing away from where the sun rose and as you can tell by my shadow it's getting pretty high up there so everything on top is dry problem is underneath there's still what feels like dew in moisture so I'm gonna go ahead and bail it up you see the growth is coming up pretty well underneath too but um, yeah, I'm gonna head over to the farm now and uh, get the 46 ready and start raking. Let's head back to the building. Here we are in the 4640. I'm about to get started. Uh, we got the Rhino RDF 14 on the back. Now this is probably going to be the last time that we use this rake because the Rhino deal has officially uh, transitioned. We're extending the agreement as I've previously talked about. So we're going to be getting a new Rhino Ag rake. It's going to be harvest time before we know it.
about does us for the Rhino RDF 14 wheel rake. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. Uh, we're going to be using the demo unit um, that I've been showing on Snapchat quite frequently. That should be about it. So stay tuned for our next video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to get notifications for all of our upcoming videos. And uh, with that, uh, I'll see you next time.